G'day YouTube, thought I'd do a quick little bit of a tour of the garden um, as autumn starts to finish and we come into winter. Here's a, a Japanese maple just hanging in to its last few leaves. This was quite a beautiful tree, you would have seen it in um, a video um, for the club that I did, um, part of the member showcase trees. Um, very very beautiful foliage this year, lots of red um, leaves and still hanging on just hanging on to its red leaves so looking nice the structure is starting to come up well i've got to take some of that wire off i can see on it um but that's about it it's nice developing into a nice natural style maple a bit all over the place but yeah going along well well here's a nice big tall trident maple that's lost all its leaves already and it's actually starting to look really good it's starting to ramify really well i'm trying to trying to get it um less of a structured tree and trying to get a bit more f um, natural looking so i'm letting it go a bit rampant i guess but not really but you see how some of those some of those twigs are starting to go upwards rather than flat and that's the point i'm trying to disrupt this tree i'm trying to change a little bit of its um what it was like before before i before i <laughs> decided to change into more natural style deciduous trees so you would have seen me repot this tree in previous videos um but look at the ramifications starting to develop really well might need a little bit of a trim especially towards in the top area it's quite a bit heavy there but other than that it's looking nice i'm not sure how this tree is going to look in the camera but i'm going to try it anyway but this is a nice big trident maple as well not not as big as the other one but nice and fat you would have seen this in previous videos as well um Oh, what I did this year is I let I let a couple of these big ones, a couple of these lower ones grow because I want to try and create some sort of bigger canopy in this tree to get it away from the triangular look. I mean, you see how a lot of the foliage is up the top. It's starting to really start to um, go upwards, which is what I wanted to do. Trying to make it more of a deciduous looking tree. But these lower ones, a couple of these branches aren't the best. And... Um, I want to, I've grown these heavily and thickly to try and push that out and trying to create maybe um, another another kind of trunky small trunk in here or another trunk out this way um, yeah that's the plan so that's coming along really well um, nice tree there I think you can make out that Japanese maple cascading kind of style semi cascade style you would have seen this tree before a few times now it's got no leaves um i really i really like the red some of those red branches and red twigs that i've got in that area looks quite nice uh, i think that will just ramify in time and look really good in the future and this is a big big trident maple oops the sun's a bit glary in this one um let's come in a bit closer and you can see some of the twigs are starting to turn upwards which is what i want to try and get to as well it's a bit too flat structured this tree um in terms of it's more of a triangular kind of tree and I'm trying to get away from that I'm also trying to fill in there's a bit of a bald spot at the back in the top in the top back here there's a bit of a bald spot in the back here in the back here back here so I'm trying to build some branching around trying to get that to go around there and fill in that gap but nice big tree it's doing well but it's very triangular looking which isn't which isn't my ideal look but the ramifications coming up really well it's done to ramify really well lots of nice twigs and you just see how they slightly i want to try and slightly get them to go slightly upwards there's hardly any wire on this tree if anything at all so the base is pretty sweet too of course one of my favorite trees is this root over rock um probably not the best background to see it with the with the with the branching but it's coming along really well it continues to ramify each year and it's looking really good look at the moss growing on the stone i didn't even notice that we've had a bit of a cold spell and a wet spell so the moss is growing really nicely a beautiful tree coming along really well i really like it well, it's a bit hard to see the the deciduous trees at the moment with the with the fence background so sorry about that but Thought I'd just do a quick tour and show you some of these trees, and this is coming along really well. Another trident maple, a um, bit too, bit too um, triangular, but again, I'm starting to try to, I'm starting to try to improve and build upward branches rather than flat branches in certain areas. 
And here's a quick tour of just some of my little Shohin junipers you would have seen uh, before. They're starting to get a bit craggly, um, but they're still doing quite healthy. You would have seen some of these videos before on these trees. They're nice and small and cute. Need some cleaning up. Nice little olive there as well. Um, this shimpaku, I've got to do some work and I'll do a video on it shortly as well. That's pretty cool. A little small black pine there that you would have seen before. That's a magnolia I'm trying to get going. Um, another shimpaku that I was doing an air layer on, so I left that air layer on there. Some of my little shimpakus there. My tridents are doing quite nicely, so they're coming along really well. Uh, more tridents, another little trident on the rock, probably can't see because of the sun. Uh, one of my more favorite trident maples, you would have seen that quite featured quite heavily. Um, it's ramifying quite nicely as well. Now you've probably seen that Chinese um, Siju Elm that I've had before. Uh, it's pretty much lost all its leaves now, so it does actually go dormant in Melbourne. Because I put it in full elements, um, yeah, it goes dormant. So you can see, unfortunately, the moss continue comes back on the trunk, and very quickly it does that, especially in this time of year. Um, so it's yeah, <laughs> what can I do? I might have to just leave it, leave it go. Um, maybe you guys remember this uh, juniper spermata that uh, or procumbens that I wired up. Probably can't see the best angle, but it looks nice with the sun going in the background there. Nice little, nice trees, still going well, all the foliage is healthy. Here's another trident maple that's come along really well, got some long branches in there. I'm trying to change the angle a little bit on it. Um, it's still a straight trunk, but I think in time I can maneuver those branching to get it looking more twiggy and more natural and going upwards, which some of those branches are starting to do. That looks okay. I think it'll come along well. But yeah, give it time, redevelop, redesign, and getting getting my deciduous trees looking a bit more deciduous in nature. That's uh, another another little root of a rock trying to maple is doing well. Um, I don't know if you guys remember this little nice little Shaheen. Uh, Shaheen's is doing quite cutely too, doing really well. Um, you would have seen this a few times in some in some um, in some videos. Very cool little tree. Remember this little guy as well. If you've been following my channel, you would remember him as well. Nice little sh juniper that I created from an air layer. Another nice little Shaheen juniper. Yep, beautiful little pot as well. Um, needs a bit more work and refinement, but coming along well. Another little trident on the rock. Looking really good clasping that rock now. And of course you guys remember this already. this one features in my videos quite a bit because I love picking it up with one hand. Nice little trident maple. It's very small. Even my even my little uh, Chinese elm has gone is going dormant, which is you know most people say elms don't go dormant sometimes, but in Melbourne definitely do. It gets cold enough. Or I keep it open and exposed to the elements so that it can go dormant. So you would have remembered maybe me and my video on these little Shimpaku's LA's that I decided to um, do a little quick demo on. You can see they've come along really well. Nice healthy dark green foliage. There's the gins. Yeah, looking really nice. And it's little neighbor next to him. Oops, I'll grab him in a sec. He's, he's looking good too. Looking nice and healthy. Oh, it's very cold today. But yeah, looking nice and healthy. Many different angles to look at. But I think something like that in around there. It's come along really well. They're my demo tree. Oh, I did videos on those trees but last um, in previous videos. And then there's another one. There's another one I did a little um, video on of a Shimpaku. Another no great little tree. But you can see how the foliage is pretty full on and it's growing quite strongly. Um, yeah, very healthy after the work we did on it. So yeah, a couple of updates on three little nice little trees. They're doing really well. I thought I'd show you my little stash of little shimpakus that are growing as stock plants or air layers. I know that one's looking a bit sick, but these are all the air layers and cuttings that I've taken of shimpaku uh, junipers that you would have seen me. A lot of the air layers you would have seen me do in spring in 20, 
19. These are some of their, they're cooking, doing really well, nice and healthy, nice and strong. Um, very, very positive results. Um, and then I'll come on to this twin trunk juniper that we did um, as well in my videos. You would have seen um, it's a bit, bit too much grass, but you, I'm sure you remember that. Um, if you've been following my channel, you remember that tree. That's going to be really nice, great looking twin trunk. I think I'll pot that up in coming spring into a nice pot. I think it's ready and then we'll um, refine that tree in time. But a beautiful little tree. And I might finish up on that one. Um, it's very cold out of here. <laughs> I'm going to go back inside. So I hope you guys enjoyed another little walkthrough video. Um, so stay tuned for more videos on my channel. See you guys.